my dear friends very good morning myself dr mh annaya vice principal at saptagiri college of engineering and former professor at ms ramaya institute of technology bangalore friends in today's session we are starting with some nice problems on the projection of lines so this is generally comes in the first module and here i am going to work out one nice problem on the projection of lines wherein the distance between the end projectors of the line are given the front and top views of the line are also known so the problem for today's session runs like this the front view of a line ab measures 60 mm and top view measures 70 mm the distance between the end projectors is 40 mm the end a of the line is 20 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of vp draw its projections so finally when they say draw its projections we have to obtain the front and top views of the line and by completing this problem with this data you will be able to measure the true length of the line the angle made by the line with the reference planes namely hp and vp and also you can measure the distance of the end b from hp and vp because they are given specified the distance of the end a so friends first of all let us see analyze the data given and use the data to obtain the projections now friends you can see here the front view of a line If the line is ab the front view is represented by a dash b dash this is the front view of the line i will say fv is a dash b dash that is given to be equal to 60 mm and the top view of the line is 70 mm top view is tv that is given to be ab and that is 70 mm and we have the the distance between end projectors which i represent as dep dep means distance between the end projector of that line is given as 40 mm then finally he says the end a of the line the line ab has got two ends one end is a the other end is b so let's see so he says the end a i will say like this this is the reference line he says this line is 20 mm above hp so 20 mm above hp or 20 mm in front of v uh, above or from hp it means the same similarly they have also given it is 25 mm in front of vp friend this is a very important concept so generally almost across the globe first angle projection is being used so when it comes to the end points of the line it is 20 mm above hp any distance above hp is taken above the xy the reference line any distance from the wall or from the vp is taken below the xy line so this is the data given to us and using this data we should be able to obtain finally the true length of the line the angle made by the line with hp and vp etc friends please follow the procedure thoroughly and you will be able to get the concept after going through this problem so here we are just following the first angle projection hence i am going to commence the problem like this so i mark an xy line as you have done in solids and here we will just mark vp and hp this vp and hp marked above and below the xy line represents first angle projection here remember the wall in front of you is the vertical plane the floor on which i am standing is the horizontal a horizontal plane and the line of intersection of the vertical plane with the horizontal is called the xy line which i have shown here friends here in any of the problems on the projection of lines the distance or the one of the end points may be a if the line is ab they will give you 
the reference of the point A with respect to HP and VP. If it is PQ, they will give you the reference for where the point stands, etc. So generally, it is preferable to start the projection with one of the endpoints. Friends, here you have got one of the endpoints A. If the point is A in the first angle projection, its front view is represented as A dash, small a dash and the top view is represented as A. So, any distance above HP or from HP is marked above that. So, he says the end A is 20 mm above. So, I am going to mark a point here at a distance of 20 mm above the XY line. I call this point as A dash. So, A dash represents the front view of the end A. Similarly, on the same line, you have a, the top view of that line, draw a vertical line from there, perpendicular through this and this point is going to be A. So, this small A is the top view of the end A. So, this I will show as 25. So, once we have utilized the data, I suggest you to omit the data from here or just delete that. So, we have obtain the front and top views of the end point of the line AB. So, next he says the distance between the end projectors which are marked as DEP. What is the meaning of DEP? DEP is distance between end projector. Then the question comes what is an end projector? Friends here the line connecting the front and top views of a point is called an end projector and always this line will be perpendicular to x y both front view and top view lie on the same line. So, this is one end projector of the line a b. So, a is one of these end points. Similarly, we have got the other end point which they have not specified here. He says they have given the d e p means what if this is a dash b dash there will be another line called B dash B which will represent the second vertical line which is called the end projector. So, through the end projector A, we have got A dash A, a vertical line perpendicular to XY. Similarly, they have given the other end projector at a distance of 40 millimeter. So, I will write a vertical line here perpendicular to this at a distance we call it as DEP. DEP means distance between end projector. This distance is given to be how much? 40 mm. I will show it low. So, this I write another line to extend this. This is DEP. I will mark it as 40 millimeter. DEP is 40. That means this DEP, the distance between the end projectors A dash A and this B dash B is equal to 40 mm and this distance is always measured parallel to the XY line. So, I have got the end projector here on which the point should lie. So, A dash A lie on this first line, first end projector. Likewise, B dash and B should lie here. Friends, come to the data. The front view is represented by A dash B dash that measures 60. Friends, you have got A dash here taking a dash center and a dash equal to a dash b dash the front view draw an arc. So, I just draw an arc here and I represent this as point b dash. This is point b dash. Friends, this a dash b dash is the front view and I show it by a dark line. So, this is a dash b dash. This is the front view of the line which is equal to 60 mm. So, friends, it is very obvious that B, the top view should lie somewhere here. Let us see where does it lie. So, top view is represented by AB that measures 70 mm. We have the end A here, take 70 millimeter radius, cut or draw an arc to obtain that point B here. So, AB is the top view and A dash B dash is the front view of the line we have and they have given the distance between end projector. So, friends I have used this data, use the top view, use the front view also. Whatever the data that is given in the question 
is exhausted completely. Now, with this information, we should be able to get the true length of the line, the true angles made by the line with the HP and VP. Friends, look here. We have got a line here through this. This is called locus of end B. This is locus of, I will say B. Means that B dash, etc. should move along that. This is the locus of B again that is in the top view. I will say locus of B in the top view. Similarly, a line drawn through this. This will show you locus of A in front view. And this is locus of A in top view. Locus of A in the top view. Friends, if you are able to follow this problem clearly, you will be able to solve any problem on line. See the procedure what I am going to follow now. Friends, you have the front view. You have the length is 60 mm. So I will just extend this line, this locus slightly this side and also this locus. I am just extending those lines by thin line. It is only a construction line. Now, there is a concept. Whenever any line is parallel to a plane, suppose it is parallel to HP, the opposite side will give you the true length of the line. Similarly, if you have a line parallel to VP, the front view, the line seen in the front view represents the true length. So, based on this concept, we work out the problem. So, what I do, I have the front view here, A dash, B dash, of length equal to 60 mm. Taking A dash as center, A dash, B dash as radius, I am just going to draw an arc till here. An arc is drawn. Remember friends, whatever the arcs I am using are always reversible. I will tell you later on why it is so. So, extend that line further downward till it meets the locus of this end A here. I will represent this point as 1. So, from there, extend further that line, it will meet the locus of B here. And the point, whatever you get here, is called B1. So, what is that we have done? I have taken A dash as center. We center A dash. Radius A dash B dash is equal to front view length. I have drawn an arc. From here, I have brought it downward till it touches the locus here. And if you are joining this A and B1, this A B1 will represent the true length of the line. This is the true length. I will put a question mark indicating you can measure that. So, keep your scale and see how much it measures. Once you have got it, you can measure what angle the line is making with the VP and as a convention, we make use of phi for this. I will put a mark here. Measure means what? What is the true length of the line? What is the angle the true length is making with the VP? Friends, here you should remember, you have the true length. True length always remains the same. So, with the same true length, represented by AB1, I just measure it. With this as center, I strike an arc. That is this length as the radius and this as the length. Center, I just draw an arc. Friends, you are getting this point B1 dash. Friends, remember, here B dash and B1 dash will always lie on the horizontal line on the locus of B. B and B1 will always lie on the locus of B in the top view. Friends, this is again true length. We have taken that already. And this angle is the angle made by the line with the horizontal plane. So, this is theta and this is B. Friends, this is the complete solution. And here, we have to show this A dash, B dash, a dark line a visible line, this has to be. And all other lines, like the true length line here, true length line here, can be shown by thin line, little thinner than these dark lines of the front view on top view. So, what all they can ask you here, friends? They can ask you, what is the true length of the line? So, remember here, this true length is A dash B1 dash is equal to the same A B1, A dash B dash, is equal to AB1, that is the true length. If the line is PQ instead of AB, P dash Q1 dash is equal to PQ1. 
if the line is m n m dash n n dash is equal to m n one so generally to make the concept more simple and understandable by you i am going to make use of this symbol throughout so you can measure this and then they can ask you to find out what is the angle made by the line with the hp that is this angle this angle is theta you can find out what is the angle made by the line with the vp that is this distance you can measure so these are the parameters you have to measure and keep then finally he may also ask you what is the distance of the end b from hp and that of b from vp because when they have given this distance it is very simple simply measure the distance between this locus and this xy line this will give you distance of the end b from hp i'll put a question mark measure that here again distance of the end b from the vp this distance this locus distance they can ask you to find out otherwise they will certainly ask you to find out what is theta and phi what is the true length of the line friends i hope every one of you are able to follow this problem clearly before i end the session i would like to tell you an important concept whatever the arrows i have written here see here i have shown the arrows in the downward direction similarly the arrows can be reversed that is what are the arrows i have written here are reversible that means what suppose you have an information of the true length you can write a vertical line till here till this point say instead of you can just keep it here yeah one till here reverse the arc you will get a point here and another important thing is b dash and b1 dash lie on a horizontal line likewise b and b1 lie on this so totally you have got four lines one is the front view line the true length in the front view the top view true length in the top view distance between end projector friends i hope you all follow this problem and the solution for the same and friends if you are happy with the presentation i have made on the projection of the lines please subscribe for this channel and you share the information with all your friends let everybody learn drawing in a very simple way and have a wonderful day this is dr mh annaya signing off